Alexa, play some house cleaning music. The playlist Sweeping the Floors on Amazon Music. Hey guys, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is going to be a whole house cleaning video. I haven't done one of these before where I actually clean every room in the house. Now I'm only going to get through to the kitchen today and then you'll see me the next morning I'll get to my den. But my house is not that big but I did so many different little details in each room that it took up most of the day. You'll see I started early in the morning and then by the time I get to mopping and sweeping my kitchen, it's dark. So anyway, this is my first time, like I said, to do a whole house video so I'm very excited for you guys to see this it's gonna be a longer video so clean with me or sit back and uh, relax drink some iced tea and watch me clean and get motivated to clean when my videos over with Okay, so I like to get my sheets in the washing machine while I'm cleaning my bedroom. Then by the time I get done with my bedroom, they're at least in the dryer or they're done so I can get them back on the bed. So, and here I'm showing you that I washed my kitchen mats. I had just got those from Pioneer Woman and I'm really bad about taking tags off of everything. So I wasn't quite sure if they could be washed or not, but I just washed them in some cold water and they did really well and they dried really well. So. And for those that have not seen where I take my detergent cup and just leave it in the washing machine to wash so it won't get build up on it, that's what I'm showing you there. I take my downy cup and my laundry detergent cup after I've used them and I toss them in the washing machine while the clothes are washing. And that's a great little tip. I got that from um, Ashley from Till Vacuum Do a Part from her channel. And then you see me here. I'm not sure what that little thing is, what this little thing is, but I know it, it keeps up with your lint in your dryer, which I have a lot, especially when I wash the dogs towels but here I just try to vacuum that out as much as I as much as I can because dog hair always um, gets on when I take that out there's always the leftover dog hair so my vacuum cleaner is right there on the charger at all times so I really try to keep that good and cleaned out but I'm just showing you you guys here how I'm just cleaning that out Another thing I really like to do, I, not on every every time I wash, but I try to really keep my dish, my washing machine good and clean. Uh, I usually have some Lysol wipes or just a, a regular towel sitting there, and I try to keep that cleaned out as much as I can. So here you're just seeing me walk down my washing machine. That's just a pet peeve of mine. Um, the little container that you put your bleach in, I really like that to stay clean. So let's start in the bedroom, and of course I'm just going to pick up everything. I really need to wash my robe, and so I'm just going to get up, get up everything that's off the floor, anything that's not supposed to be in the bedroom. And if you can see here, when I'm cleaning in one room, I try to just stay in that one room. So I didn't take those clothes to the 
um, laundry room I just kind of threw them right outside the door and I just you'll see a clip in a minute where everything is just sitting out in the hallway and then after I clean my room then I go back and put everything where it's supposed to go so here I'm just gonna fold up uh, a couple of clothes that I have um, you'll see me in a second that I try to do a little bit of the Kamari folding method and so here in a second you'll see me take a couple of t-shirts and fold those in that that way I don't do all my clothes that way but I do do I have a lot of t-shirts and I do try to fold my t-shirts um, so that that one drawer that you'll see in just a second is pretty much um, done in that whole method so it just makes me happy to pull that drawer out and see it so organized but I don't always have time um, to do this but I try as much as I can Okay, so here I'm just showing you where I'm using a microfiber cloth from Grove Collaborative and the Method Wood Cleaner and the Almond Scent. Y'all, this scent is to die for. I also have this Almond Scent in a squirt and mop for your floors. These are two of my top products. You must try these. Here, I'm trying to show you some dirt on this picture frame. This end table really is dusty. It's just so hard to see on camera. People will say, Robin, you're cleaning a clean house, but honestly, it is dirty. It's just so hard to see. So here, like I said, I'm going to use this wood cleaner. I clean the different types of cleaners. I've got an end dust that um, I'll use to kind of condition my furniture. I'll use that regularly. And then sometimes I'll use this almond scent just to get a good um, smell in the air. And then sometimes I use my hand duster. So it just depends. Um, I try to rotate those three cleaning products throughout the house. But today I'm going to use this wood cleaner and it is smelling so great in here. Okay, so now let's get everything in the bedroom dusted. And here, I just want to kind of give you a little sneak peek of how I keep my costume jewelry organized. I know it looks a mess right now, but when I went to open up that drawer, it kind of all slid toward the back. But anyway, if you needed an idea of how to keep your jewelry organized, just to kind of show you something that I do, I just got that little organizer on Amazon. So here I'm just going to show you how I maintain the two plants that are in my bedroom. I'm a huge plant person. I love them inside the house, outside the house. Um, I wish I had a better green thumb. My granny Horton and her two sisters were awesome with plants. But here I'm just going to show you the little thermometer that I use. It's a watering thermometer. I got it off of Amazon. It shows you if your plants are wet or dry. This one is dry. So I'll show you outside how I take care of that one. Now this is my snake plant, also known as a mother-in-law's tongue. And as you can see here in a second, it's really wet. I think I watered this about three weeks ago and it's still wet. So uh, this one really likes to be dry. So I'll wait till it's bone dry before I water it. And I'll need to cut off that little brown spot there. But okay, so now we're outside and my closet plant, I'll show you how I take care of that. I don't have any white flowers on it here recently, but it'll pop up some white flowers when it's really happy. But right here, I'm just gonna spritz off the leaves and give it a little freshen up and then I'll water it thoroughly but I won't put it back into that white pot and put it back on the dresser just right now I'll water it thoroughly I'll let that water drain out for a little bit and then I'll put it back in the pot and put it back on my dresser because if not that water will drain out into the bottom of that pot and the closet plants do not like to have what they call wet feet so I'll let that drain thoroughly so okay so let's get back to the bedroom and finish uh, dusting the bedroom
All right, and I forgot to wipe these down when I had this plant outside. So I'm going to wipe the leaves down real quickly, and then I'll show you how dirty they are. They don't look dirty, but uh, that just helps the, them to aerate also when their leaves are clean. So I gave them, gave them a good wipe down before I put it back on the dresser. Time is a little, little by little, day by day, I'm caught in the middle of a spinning wheel.
see that my vacuum dies this is the great thing about this cordless vacuum is that it came with two batteries so I always have a charged battery so this is really nice when you're in the middle of vacuuming and if it had if I didn't have a backup battery I'd be done vacuuming for about an hour so this is really nice so you just see me um, take off the top part and just re-put the new the charged battery back in so it's very nice to have Turn back time, back to all of those nights when I knew you were mine. I miss when we were teenage girls in our tomboy t-shirts. When life was good in the worn out sneakers. When we were fine after complications. Those were the days in the tomboy t-shirts. Alright, so now that we've got the bedroom complete, let's move on to the master bathroom. Um, first, I'll just start by taking up my rugs and just um, shaking them out. I'm not going to wash my rugs today. I just wash them so they're in pretty good shape. Just going to uh, get the dirt out of them real quickly before I sweep. Again, for those of y'all, this is your first time to watch my videos. I always like to sweep before I even start cleaning in the restroom. I feel like when you're cleaning, water gets on the floor, cleaner gets on the floor, and it just causes such a mess. So I always sweep out my bathroom before I start cleaning my bathroom. And today I'm not going to take everything off the countertops and do a deep clean. I'm just going to take some Clorox wipes and just kind of sanitize the bathroom. I clean the mirror and wipe down the countertops. Uh, in a minute you'll see me clean the toothbrush holder. I'm a fanatic about that. And also, this is my first time that you're going to see me uh, clean the bathtub and the shower. Um, if you can see, I have a long bathroom, but it's very narrow. So I had some trouble really getting some good shots of me cleaning that shower and tub so I'm not going to show you that much of it you'll see there's some shadows in my bathtub and I wasn't quite sure the angle of how to get rid of that so bear with me on cleaning my bathtub I know some people really like to see that uh, cleaned so I will do better on trying to get that filmed without the shadows and stuff in the bathtub so anyway we're just going to start here with doing some um, sweeping and then we'll get to cleaning the restroom So let's start cleaning out the shower and tub. I'm going to show you real quickly. This is the Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner. I'm going to use a magic um, eraser and a microfiber cloth. So I'm going to spray down the area. Well, first take everything out of the bathtub and then spray down everything with the Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner. Um, I didn't I didn't show on the camera, but I always open up my little bathroom window whenever I'm cleaning this bathroom because it's a pretty small area. So anyway, I'm going to start by spraying everything down uh, and then I will fill the bathtub up with just a little bit of water. I like to do that because uh, I'm actually going to get into the bathtub to clean it down. Of course a lot of people and I do myself uh, find that it's best to 
clean those walls of your shower when you're actually taking a shower. But anyway, you'll see me here put some water in the bottom of the bathtub and then I'll get in and I'll start with um, the magic eraser now that everything's kind of, that antibacterial is kind of set for just a second and really absorbed. I'll take that magic eraser and wipe down uh, all the walls and then get to wiping down the tub with that magic eraser. I wished I had like one of those little sprayers on my shower, but I don't have one. So I need to maybe get one of those that just attaches to it that can come on and off because it is such a pain after you wrap down everything i'd like to rinse it off really well and it's really hard you'll see i'll take a cup and just throw it on there practically but it's very hard i get so wet doing that but anyway so just uh, you'll see me wiping down like i said everything and then i'll go back with my microfiber cloth and i like to kind of dry it off that's just me i like to dry everything off with that cloth and then we'll move on to cleaning the countertops Never thought I'd be so far from home Never thought a love could grow so cold Never thought we had to run through burning fire Never thought I had to miss you and I Life changes as we know Do what you can, you just get through it. It's a mystery how people can get by on as little love as you and I. Never thought I'd be so far from home. Never thought our love could grow so cold. Never thought we had to run through burning fire Never thought I had to miss you and I I tried to stay into outgrowing As time changes people, we both know this It's a change of season When the tide comes rolling in Nothing there to begin Never thought I'd be so far from home Never thought our love could grow so cold Never thought we had to run through burning fire Never thought I had to miss you and I a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right letting you go cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you but I do not believe it was right letting you go I can't 
I'll just let my um, toothbrush holder sit there and dry out for a few minutes and then we'll get the bathroom floors mopped. Um, I usually always use my steamer in my bathroom just because I feel like it sanitizes a little better. You know, I have a hurricane mop also that I use, but I tend to always use my steamer in my bathroom. And I'm just showing y'all my, that's a squirt and a squirt and mop product from Grove Collaborative and it's in the mint scent. I, the mint scent to me is just so refreshing. I also have that in the the mirror cleaner also so here I'm just gonna take the time to um, sanitize the bathroom floors and then we'll put everything back uh, in its place put the rugs back down take the garbage out and then you'll see me in uh, just a second I'll be changing my Scentsy scent out and I'll show you how I do that you're new to me I don't know who you are be like a piece of art I want more but better slow it down Time, my mind is getting all too loud, I get scared Not used to this, not prepared Not used to this, not prepared Not prepared It was like if we were to waste These moments The light poets to me So here's how I change out my scents. Some people like let theirs melt down and then they get like a Q-tip, not a Q-tip, but a cotton ball and they get all this stuff out with cotton balls or toilet paper or something. I just take a fork and just kind of pop my nail and it just comes out pretty good. And then I'll replace it with a, a new Scentsy scent. So I just wanted to kind of show you all that trick if you don't already know it. So, And I buy my uh, Scentsy's, I try to, in these big blocks. And of course in the little... Uh, fillers are a little bit too big so you have to I kind of use a fork and just put half of it in there if not it will definitely overflow when it seems like you have lost control and you feel like 
feel like you're alone when you lost something worth fighting for do you take it take it as a low all i need is another chance to get back up and make amends gotta let me gotta let me try all i need is another chance this time will be different gotta let me gotta let me try leave the skyline heading back to old times like the pipe up to feel like i'm doing fine chase the place with whatever i'm chasing and leaving to leave my head where the mistakes feel like a blessing and my mind is clear of the mess i'm in chase the place with whatever i'm chasing to ground again how do you get up when your body say no we've broken all that you have left how do you take back take back what you've lost all i need is another chance to get back up and make amends yeah Well guys, I hope y'all weren't interested in seeing me make my bed because I'm really bad about not looking at the monitor to make sure it's still recording. So we go from pillowcases to, ta-da, a bed's made. My camera battery died and I did not notice it till I put the last throw pillow on the bed. So just wanted to come back and let you know why you're not going to see me making my bed, but it's made. That's all that matters, right? Okay, y'all, I got my grub order in yesterday, but because um, I knew I was going to be filming today, I was going to wait and open it up for you. So, let's see what's in here. I've changed clothes. I've got to run to get a Walmart pickup real fast. It's stormy, not bad, too. Okay, let's see. Um, I think Grove shipments were delayed, so it's been a while since I've um, <clears throat> ordered this. So, I'm not real sure what I've got coming, so it'll definitely be a surprise. Oh, and I think I ordered some of the new spring stuff, so yay. Okay, here's what I mentioned in one of my videos, that the little hand scrub board that I used to wash my dishes, these are just the little replacement heads for them. And I love a cup towel. Love them, love them, love them. So, I always try to get whatever newest cup towel they have out. Isn't it precious? Cherry Blossom dish towel. Let's look at it real fast. I love a great dish towel. Oh my gosh, so cute. Let me unroll it. Okay, so definitely after this video, I'll be putting this out. Isn't it so cute? It's the little things in life that make you happy. Okay, now, let's see. Okay, yeah, I needed this in my video today. I didn't have any. The tub and tile cleaner, it's really, really good. So, this is what I normally squirt down on my tile, and then I use that magic eraser and go back and wipe it off. So, this is really good. Okay. Now, let's see here. Okay, and this was, if you've noticed when I did my mopping in the bathroom, I was um, running low of this. So this is great for tile, linoleum, hard surfaces. It's the Method Squirt and Mop. And this is in that, I think I tried a new fragrance this time. Yeah, this is the Lemon Ginger. So I'll try a new one this time. If you can see that, Lemon Ginger. Okay, then let's see here. Yes, I'm almost completely out of hands up in the bathroom. So this is the new Cherry Blossom in hand soap refill to go in my dispenser by the sink. So excited to try that. I love these little, um, instead of having to buy another jar every time, I just buy the replacements to go in my jar. So that's kind of handy. Okay, and then here is the scents I got, the matching scents I got to go together. So I've got a rose hand soap to go in the bathroom and then a rose dish soap to go by the sink. The only thing I thought that I ordered is I thought that I ordered the um, the Rose All-Purpose Spray too, but I don't see that one. So I may have to go in there and order that if I didn't order it. So Because I do love um, a dish soap and an all-purpose spray sitting by my sink of the same fragrance. So I'll probably go back and get that. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to show y'all real quickly my Walmart pickup I did today. Y'all are all going to be probably surprised, but this was my first time to do the Walmart pickup. And, of course, it was pouring down rain. And I've never done it before, so when she came out, she said she had some substitutions for me. And I just accepted them because it was pouring down rain. Um, I think I'm supposed to get an email and double check it, but... Anyway, um, I love to go to Walmart. I'm the odd one. I like to go down all the aisles and look for new stuff. So this is one. This is my first time to do it. So let me tell you real quickly what I got. What's funny, I really needed cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. They had it whenever I ordered. And then today, this is what they substituted. Progresso beef pot roast. <laughs> Holy moly. Anyway, that was pretty funny, I thought. But, okay, so here's what I got. I got some Italian salad um, and recipe mix. I've never used this, but um, Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part, she puts that on her green beans. And I'm going to try to make a recipe that she had this week with potatoes, chicken, and green beans. And she used this as a seasoning. So, I'm excited to try that. And then I'm also going to try... Um, the, um, an anicho, artichoke hearts chicken. I know it sounds terrible, but I think you put pasta with it. It looked wonderful. Simply Allie um, on YouTube, um, her channel, she put that on her recipe on her channel. It looked delicious. So I'd like to try that too. And then of course the baby spinach is going to go, I believe in the artichoke hearts recipe. And then I got some pineapple juice, um, some orange juice, my floors, when I use my steamer, my floors just look so dull. So I was told by a friend to try this Murphy's Oil Soap. So we're going to try that out. I like for my floors to be shiny, and they're just not shiny sometimes. So I'm going to try that. And then, of course, I've got some sponges. And I'm going to show you, when I take these out of the packages, what I do with these sponges to make them last a little longer. And that's also something I learned from Ashley uh, and her channel is Chill Vacuum Do a Spark. Then I got some SOS pads. I got some downy odor defense they are just make sure laundry smells so super good we needed some new bath towels i'm not sure i'm gonna like these wash rags they're not the ones i normally get they didn't have the ones i normally get but these are kind of big so i don't know we shall see but then i've got some refills on my dusters because i got the wrong kind last time um some oxyclean of course there was no bleach but i can use oxyclean instead of uh, having no bleach and then um, the Purex 2 for my colored clothes because I like to use the Lysol sanitar sanitary sanitizer, but they were out. So anyway, just a small uh, Walmart haul. I think I spent maybe right at $105, but I've never done one of these before. So I just want to post it that and stick it in this video for you guys. Okay, let's get back to cleaning. Your queen of hearts when everyone folds your forge to holds your place in your bed showing no regret close your eyes to hide your lies roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to Get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. You're playing it cool, bending all the rules, talking way too loud, and you're talking rude. You're playing a game, driving me insane. Your heart is back, and it's a fact, no turning back. You got me tiptoeing around. Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots. When I use my witchcraft, when I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft.
Okay, now that we have the back of the house good and clean, let's start at the front of the house. Uh, it is a good feeling, though, to have the back of the house really good and cleaned because normally I'm just picking up and doing some odds and ends. I'm not really giving the, the back of the house a really good cleaning, like cleaning the hallway and things like that. So um, usually because I'm working 8 to 5, I don't really get to deep clean like I'm showing you guys here. But Okay, so let's start in the kitchen. I've also noticed that I'm just going into work a few days a week that leaving my dishes overnight to dry and then putting them up in the morning is not really bothering me as much. When I work 8 to 5, I hate waking up to a dirty kitchen thinking to myself I should have cleaned the kitchen before I went to bed. But right now during this off time, I'm usually just leaving my hand wash dishes overnight and then putting, the, putting them up the next day. So tell me about you. Are you kind of slacking on that also? Are you still in your routine of needing to to get up in the morning for your kitchen to be completely clean because that kind of sets you off on, on a good day if it is but anyway let's unload the dishwasher and then I'll put up the hand um, wash dishes that I left overnight and then I just have a few more dishes to go in the dishwasher and then to, to hand wash and put up so let's get to cleaning on the kitchen <music> To what used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas And then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every bend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away High and low Holding on or letting go I'm fighting Another day Neon lights in the fast lane light Riding high, reaching for the sky I had it all but lost And fell back down again Spent my time playing the game Where every single day was a losing battle And every drink was a dead end I'm living fast, I've lost my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions high and low Holding on or letting go I'm fighting another day Alright, so here I'm just showing you that I'm going to use the countertop spray. It's in the Cadre Cadrera uh, line and uh, it's in the Sea Salt Norelli. I'm 
probably saying that incorrectly, but it smells wonderful. So kind of a change up from the Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaners that I also have. I wanted to use some of this today, but we're going to work on my coffee area. It's been a while, so I actually deep clean this area. As you can see, I have quite a few different stuff on my coffee bar area. Um, it's, most of it's very sentimental to me, so I like to leave it out. Um, I'm working on my deep clean my deep kitchen a two-part series and so in that series I am going to kind of minimize this co this coffee area and put some things away for later on but I'm working on that video I should have it up in a couple of weeks I can't wait for you guys to see it but right now I'm just going to take everything um, off my coffee cutting board here my, in my coffee area wipe everything down and put it back but like I said I've got a couple of sentimental things like that um, juice squeezer that you see there that round glass one to the left it was my precious mother-in-law's and we lost her suddenly a few years back. So I just, things like that just mean so much more to me than new items. So I like to leave those sitting out just to remind us of those people. So, okay, so let's finish um, cleaning and deep cleaning my coffee bar area. I was falling through the air. No one let myself to hold my hand. Standing in the shadows of where we have been. Your back is me
lies for tomorrow Never see the end of the night filled with sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? to mention this little area right here I know you guys see this on video every time I clean my kitchen but I've never really addressed this little area that little stand right there is just a cake pie stand and that is kind of my husband's area he keeps his things he gets, takes out of his work pockets when he gets in from five and our bills and just important paperwork that we need right there um, out in the open instead of putting it up so that's kind of his area I don't really mess with it very much that basket that you just saw me take off that's kind of my catch-all basket if you've got a little area on in your kitchen that seems to be like your phone chargers and just different things that you really need out um, I recommend just getting some type of decorative basket or something and put on your bar and it just makes it feel to me just a little bit more organized when it's all in one little area. Okay, and I mentioned when I was showing you guys my Walmart grocery haul that I was going to show you my little trick I do with these sponges. And I just get the great value sponges and I just cut them in half. And y'all, it's a life changer. Um, Ashley with Till Vacuum Do Us Part, her channel, she's the one that I originally saw that tip on. And it does make it so much easier. It fits better in the palm of your hand. And so I cut my um, sponges, my kitchen sponges in half. And then I also cut my Magic Eraser sponges in half. Makes such a difference. Just try it and let me know what you think about it. And then here I'm just uh, filling up my um, hand soap that I have by the sink with this, new, with this new Rose Gel Hand Soap. So I really like the uh, refill packages instead of having to buy a bottle every time. So, And this Rose smell, for you ladies that haven't tried the Grove Collaborative products yet, I would highly recommend trying the hand soap by your sink. It's just really great. And I don't want you to think it's not manly enough for your husband to like because mine hasn't complained about the smell. So if that helps you to try the product, I would highly recommend it.
So here I was just showing you guys, this is my sponge I used to scrub out the sink, and then the other sponge is what I used to wash my dishes with. So let's get to cleaning the sink. I like to use the Mrs. Meyers Surface Scrub and the Lavender Scent. That's my favorite product for cleaning the sink. And today I'm using some Dawn Dishwashing Liquid, which is my go-to uh, as far as dishwashing liquid if I'm not using a Mrs. Meyers dish soap. Um, Let's see, also, before I actually got introduced to this surface scrub for my sink, I would just use regular baking soda. So if you don't have something like this, um, just use regular baking soda with any dishwashing um, liquid, and it'll make, it'll suds up really well. And to me, that's what makes my sink so clean, is to get it just good and sudsy. So you can't really see the suds on, on camera to me as much as you can in real life. But anyway, just it's such a satisfying feeling once you get it all sud step and then you rinse it out. So tell me about you. Is that so satisfying to you also to have a really clean sink at the end of the day? I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions. But somehow it came to an end. I was looking for a
all vacuumed up let's do some mopping here I'm gonna use my hurricane mop I know earlier in the bathroom I showed you guys where I like to use the steamer mop in the bathroom and then this is the hurricane mop I'll kind of switch it out regarding mopping in my dining room area in my kitchen area also but this hurricane mop has that head on it I have two different ones and they just pop off after it's dirty and I bleach it in the washing machine and then I just set it out to air dry but that's what I love about it because it's so sanitary after you've bleached it so Okay, so all I'm going to use here is just some hot water, and then you saw in my, my Walmart grocery haul, I got some of that new um, 
Murphy's Oil Soap because I'm hoping, I was recommended that product, hoping that my floors would be a little bit more shinier after I mop them. They just seem so dull. So I'm using, at first I'm using way too much of this. So I really have to add some more water. I didn't realize it took just I took a smaller amount. So anyway, you don't see me, but I'll add some more water to this bucket. But it did do a really good job, I thought. It did leave my floor shiny. So, but here you see this just kind of it spins the the washer the wash head around and then you put it in the other little uh, little tub area and that gets all the excess water out because if you've got wood floors you don't want to put a whole lot of water on your wood floors so that's the great thing about this hurricane mop and I've actually had it for like two years and it hasn't broken yet so okay so let's get these floors mopped and um, on to the next thing Okay, hey y'all, so the last thing I'm going to do tonight is put out my clean kitchen rugs, and then first thing in the morning, we'll get to cleaning my den. Hey guys, okay, it's day two of my whole house cleaning video. I didn't get the den cleaned yesterday, so today we're going to concentrate on getting in here and getting all the stuff done in our living area. I know some people call this a den, some people call it a living room. I tend to call it a den. So let me know in the comments, what do you call your living area? Do you call it the living room? Do you call it the den? I'm anxious to hear those uh, answers. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quickly what all needs to be done, and then we'll get to cleaning. Okay, guys, let's start in the den. Of course, the dogs are here. So we're going to start here and we're going to dust this area off. It gets really dusty over here for some reason. It's it's just, 
I'm continually dusting these frames. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but believe me, it's dirty. Let's see if you can see the mirror. Maybe a little bit back there. So, okay, so definitely every, all the surfaces in here need to be dusted off. This is my husband's area and it stays pretty dirty. So I need to, of course, every time I vacuum, I vacuum the dog's bed. So I need to vacuum the dog's bed. I'm not gonna clean off the hearth today. I'm gonna do that soon because I'm gonna do that video with my daughter and I when we go to, um, Let's see, I think it's called Whitewash the Fireplace. I will then um, deep clean all this brick. So I'll show you that when I do all that. But today, I just mainly need to get up here and clean off the uh, mantle. It's been a while since I clean off that mantle. The great thing about that mantle is that it's white, so I don't think it shows dirt really well. So that's good. And then, of course, we'll dust the TV area. I need to get everything folded. I've got about four loads of clothes over here I've got to get folded. Um, anyway, pick up the blankets. It's not too bad. I do definitely need to, I always need to vacuum, always. So I need to vacuum in here. So, okay, guys, let's get to cleaning this den. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will find. Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low.
But sometimes you can't handle your emotions And I guess that's okay Met you at a time when I was so low Went from just talking to taking you
Okay, so I'm going to start off just by putting some fresh water in my humidifier. Um, I use this pretty much year round. Um, I have a little humidifier gauge right there sitting on top of the television. It's a little white square box. I like to keep the humidity in the room about at a 60. That's the best for my house plants. In the silence of my room, I sleep all night and get up at noon. 
There's nothing to distract me in my Now here I'm just going to show you just some more maintenance that I do on one of my house plants. This is another um, closet plant. It does really well here. You can tell they're happy when they sprout those little white flowers. And at one point I had a whole bunch of them. And so now I'm just kind of, um, all those dead leaves will kind of take the energy away from the plant as far as it growing. It'll keep it from not growing when it's got lots of dead stuff on it. So I'm just pruning off those little dead flowers that had died on there. So. Thank you.
at your castle I'm pretty sure you're safe but still afraid I'm walking in your garden knowing what you're dreaming of the copper statues of everyone you've ever loved lower down the bridge and let me in Woo. you'll never get to know me from within will you pop on here real quickly and show you how I kind of keep my towels, my wash rags, and my hand towels kind of rotated. Um, so to me, they don't wear out as fast. And um, when I go to put these up, I'll take the ones that are here and I'll put those below. And then the new ones, I'll put those above. And then I'll show you how I do my hand towels, and my wash rags. You'll also notice I'm kind of odd. Uh, when we first got married, um, I did have like colored towels and things like that, but I would just mess them up every time. I, I Somehow I would get like little bleach spots on them and I would not use bleach. But so it seemed over the years, especially when we started having children, it was just easier just to have all white. White towels, white hand towels, white wash rags. And then I could bleach them and they feel really sanitary to me. And it was just easier raising my children for everything to be white. Now I know um, me showing you this little rotation that I do, the ones of you that have still have children at home and things like that are like, there's absolutely no way I can do that little rotation system, but I just do that because it's just my husband and I and just makes me happy, I suppose. It's the little things, but anyway, I'll show you how I do it. So these towels are already here, so I'll remove these. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. <laughs> These go to the bottom. Hang on. And then my clean ones go to the top. Okay, and then on my wash rags, I just have like this little wicker basket right here that just kind of hangs on this little ledge. I got the dollar store. I'll just take out the wash rags. I got these new wash rags and they're really big, so I'm not very happy with them. So I've got to get the, the ones I, Walmart was out of the ones that I normally get because I'm doing the Walmart pickup and I don't want to go inside Walmart. So I got the wrong ones. So these are really big and thick. But anyway, so I'm going to take the wash rags that I have and I'll take those out. Um, and these will go in the bottom. And then I'll put my ones like that in the top. And then, so we'll use the older ones, just a little something. It's probably silly to some people, but I've just always done that. So same thing on my hand towels. My hand towels are um, the ones that are in the back. I'm going to move to the front. And then the new ones I just got out of the drawer, dryer, I'm going to move those to the back. So anyway, just kind of how I kind of have organized. And, and Derek and I, we just take from these and then he knows I just kind of rotate it down. But of course, if he takes one from the top, I don't know about it, I don't really care, but that's kind of how I have my little towels and wash racks and hand towels set up.
All right, so here I'm going to show you just real quickly how I take care of my air filter that's on my air purifier. This air purifier is called an InvisiClean purifier. I did some research on this before I actually ordered it. I've had it for, gosh, about two years now. Um, but because I have dogs, I really needed a good one that worked really well. But this is what I do. Like, I try to vacuum that off there every time I vacuum the floors. I don't always get to do it, but I really try to keep that vacuumed on a daily basis. Um, and then I replace that filter. It says to replace it every three to six months. So I usually replace mine every four months, sometimes five months, because I do have dogs and I run it a lot. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side. Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side Okay, y'all, we finally made it to the end of my video. I hope this motivated you to get up and clean your own home or that you were able to clean along with me. For those of you that made it all the way through my video, thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate you. What helps my YouTube channel is for people to hit my subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and to hit the thumbs up button on my video and to watch the video all the way through. This helps YouTube to see that I'm actually making videos that the public wants to see. I'm still trying to reach my thousands subscribers by November the 1st. So by sharing this video, that would help me reach my goal. Again, thanks guys. I appreciate you so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.